I control the access to this space because this is my universe and I do what I want. The ones above shall be below and you and I will ride through the ashes. I am elated for that my ancestors are looking down at me with joy and excitement. With the offerings I give with juice and my beautiful energy, the door shall be open for the year 2024 with the beautiful people of sense of greatness. Yes, the fire rises. Now rise, rise, rise. Rise, 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 rise. All right, what's up with y'all? How y'all doing, man? It's been a while, y'all. It's been a while since I've been doing videos, but you know, it's all right because now I'm back. Uh, so as y'all already know, today December twenty fifth is Christmas. I don't really celebrate Christmas, but for those that do. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves. I'm not got my reasons. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but yeah. Um, but for today, I got plans to go to like a abandoned place. Well, it's probably like abandoned, or I guess like a tourist trap place. I can't, I can't really describe it. But y'all see when I, y'all gonna see when I get there. But um, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a beautiful and lovely day, and I, and I can't wait to show y'all what's there because it's like it's really amazing. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so this is the town, as y'all can see. You know, it's pretty desolate. I mean, you know, of course that'd be, of course that'd be it, cause you know, it's Christmas day, so. I ain't gonna hold you though, it's a little bit scary, man. <laughs> I'm nervous. I ain't gonna hold you, I'm nervous as hell, but yeah, we almost dead. All right, so right now we made it. Um, As you can see. Ain't nobody really here. I mean, it's one other person here, but I don't really see him. And you got some bikers over there. That's about it, but yeah. This is very foreign to me. This is out of my element. But we can make the most out of it. But I like being out of my element sometimes because you need, you need something new in your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't always be comfortable and be where, you know, a place where you're used to all the time. It just don't work out like that. So you just gotta be used to it right. i'm all right by the way do you guys know how to uh where do i on um, go for to the, the um, trail what's that the trail do you know what the trail is you're on it, it goes oh. that way oh that way and oh. it goes that way you know continues down to, oh, underneath okay. the highway and along the river all right no problem thank you so yeah, much sure. have a good one you can do it, man. so yeah i just figured out what the trail is show's right there So, I ain't gonna hold you though. I should have bought my boots. I don't think it was raining yesterday. No, it was raining. It was raining like I think yesterday morning. Damn. I got these black forces. I ain't trying to get them dirty, man. These are my special shoes. I mean, I wear these drones every day, but still. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, so. As y'all can see, this is a long ass trail, yo. And I think the guy told me there's two trails. One going this way. And there's another one going underneath the highway. But it's like, where is this going to? <laughs> like, where am I going at this point? Alright, so right now I'm going back only because it's like... This wasn't my purpose. Like, there was this area where it was cool. Like, it looked like an abandoned uh, highway. And I thought that's what I was gonna be at, but apparently not so. I'm not gonna continue. I'm not gonna just continuously keep walking a trail where I don't know where it leads to. And I have plans for all that. <laughs> Damn, bro. This is like a little park, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go over there, chill a little bit, set up the drone, and I might come back here and do the let go jar. And put in that rivet, so yeah, yeah. All right, so I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because I didn't get to find the spot. You know, I return, 
But we're gonna make use of what we got. Listen, man. I'm the only person here today. I'm the only person that's here. Nobody else but me and nature and all these trees and grass and nothing but consciousness. You feel me? Right now, this is my playground. And I get to do what the hell I want because nobody here. So let's go ahead and play. That's what you about to do, all right? All right, so do y'all mind if y'all could listen to my soapbox very quick? Let someone get off my chest. I've been struggling like hell. Like crazy, man. You know, I've been folding. I always say I'm a warrior, but in reality, I'm not. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I said, but I ain't got no reason to lie. I ain't no fake spiritual man i ain't no fake vegan only reason why i'm saying this is because i've had meat you know shit had me yesterday <laughs> only because like my mother was cooking something and like when i bit into it I, I found out it was me i'm like oh shit i was so mad i'm like man and i'm like you know what oh damn I go i'm like man you know what since I already ate it, I might as well finish it off. So I like some drumsticks, I ain't gonna hold you. But I don't even feel happy when I do it though. It feels terrible. Like, I don't even feel clean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just I need to get a hold of myself and realize it's not that hard that I make it to be, you know? But yeah. Look at this art look at this artwork very quick. It looks nice. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> yo, this, man, there's a whole lot of duck shit on the floor. I ain't trying to step on it. My shoes already money. But yeah, it's Christmas Day, and this house been my Christmas, yo. I feel good. I feel great. Um, I know sometimes I could seem as though I'm coping. So like I had to let y'all know, like, hey, look at me, like I'm doing good. I'm great right now. You know, it's everything's going good. Even though I'm alone for Christmas, I'm all right. It might it might come across that way, which I understand, but you know, this is like my first year. I mean, I came to a realization that I wasn't going to celebrate Christmas probably like three years ago, but it's like actually my first year. Like I'm doing my own thing where I'm by myself. You know, I love solitude. I used to be afraid of being alone back when tragedy has struck onto my life back in 2017. Before then, I used to love being alone. We used to tell me, yo, Ariel, let's go do this. Let's go do that. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let me be. I'm going to just watch my shows, watch my anime. Uh, this is my music. And I'm good right here. Right in my crib. <laughs> I used to love it. 
up until when tragedy struck, I didn't like being alone no more. I hated it. I was lusting to be surrounded by people, even if those people weren't good people, even if they didn't provide any benefits, I was still desperate, you know what I'm saying? But I realized though, like even right now, like I'm still going through a lot right now. I haven't healed 100% yet. I will be, but not, not right there. It's not, it's not there at the moment, but even right now I realize like I need to embrace being alone. And being alone sometimes not even, there's no, there's no science behind it. Especially for a person like me, I'm no stranger to being alone. I'm the only child, you know what I'm saying? So it's like being alone for me was like always there. It's not new to me, right? But I, I was always envious of other people, especially people with like siblings. I mean, it used to make me sad. Growing up, you know, I only had a single mother, but that didn't really, having not having a father in my life kind of made me feel some type of way, but having a sibling was something I always wanted, yo. But the thing about it is, I remember the movie Above the Rim. I remember Tupac asked that basketball player, he was like, you got any siblings? He was like, no, I'm the only child. Tupac was like, oh, all right, that's good. That means you're strong. And then from there, I'm like, okay, okay. You know, I can't complain no more. I'm a strong child. But it's a lot of pressure when it comes to being the only child, you know? My mom, my mother only got, she only got me and that's it. Nobody else. Nobody else, just me. So the pressure is all on me to, you know, do what I gotta do and flourish in this life and Give everything that she giving back. Give everything that she gave to me to give it back to her. You know what I'm saying? When it has siblings, when you have like, cause you know, when you got other children, it's like okay, if one children and two children happen to slack off, at least there's one child. You know, you have where they got everything together, and then you know you can rely on them. But no, well, if I if I don't make it, well, it's not if I'm gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make it. So it's not if, but it is a scenario. Cause I already did make it in my head. But there's, if there's already a scenario, if there's a scenario where I didn't make it, and that's it. Like, my mom, she's going to be in the nursery home. She's going to be with people that she didn't even know. And, I, man, that ain't going to happen. What I look like, man? Hell no. I already died to let that happen. That's why it's good, though, because all the pressure's on me. All the pressure's on me, and I could take it. Give it all to me, man. Nothing could hurt me no more, yo. Come on, man. All this bullshit I've been through. And it's like, all these people, like the thing about it is, I don't even have it as bad, right? Only reason why I say that is because I'm here in America. People are going through worse, okay, worse situations than I'm going through right now. And their struggle, their pain gives me more fuel because it's like, okay, you know what? I can't, I can't even like, I can't even imagine what you're going through. Which means that if I was to be in a position, I probably would have died. And that's how strong you are. And that gives me more power. So thank you. For those people that are in, for these people that are in third world countries, that are going through hell. Because these people are going through hell on earth. Man, I ain't going through hell on earth. Look at me right now, yo. You see where I'm at? Man, I'm in the suburbs, yo. I'm not going through hell on earth. It's a Christmas day, and I'm walking, talking to you guys, man. This is damn near paradise. Even though I don't got anything that I want right now, even though I'm going through a little bit of suffering, this is damn near paradise. People are going through hell on earth, yo. And for that, I thank you because I don't. I'm not, when I say I thank you, I just I, I want to give those people an opportunity as well, man. I just want to bring light into this world. And, I'm, and I will be. I will be bringing light to this world. I know I am. I ain't got no option. I ain't got no choice. So, that's why I'm at. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a long journey. But I'm going to get there, though. I know I will. Because I ain't got an option, like I said.